Good afternoon. I'm George, K3GP, and I'm standing in for Digital Dorsey this afternoon. I'd like to talk to you a little bit about my favorite mode, Radio Teletype, or RTTY. An argument could be made that it's the second oldest digital mode, following only CW as the oldest digital mode. So a little bit of history about Radio Teletype. Following World War II, Teleprinters became surplus on the surplus market and some hams picked them up and started to try to work radio teletype. But in those days they had to use on-off keying as frequency shift keying, which is the, the standard today, was not authorized by the FCC. Made for some tough times. Contacts were made, but it wasn't uh, quite as easy as it uh, could have been. In 1953, the FCC authorized frequency shift keying at 850 hertz shift, and things started to roll pretty well there. Later, in 1956, the FCC authorized frequency shift keying with any shift of 900 hertz or less. So there was an elevate, uh, and, and there is an evolution, and teleprinters and punch paper tape was the beginning of the. Uh, RIDI operations for ham radio. And that was a standard for three decades until the advent of affordable personal computers and the uh, advent of the software to emulate the teleprinters. Recently, casual RTTY operation has been impacted a good bit by the new modes FT8 and FT4. However, Really can be a lot more conversational for technical dis uh, discussions, rag chewing, and so forth. That's impractical with FT8. FT8 and FT4 are good mo modes, but they don't offer the opportunity for the, the, the people that are uh, more verbose as I am. For those who like contests, there are quite a few wildly popular, uh, popular Ritty contests during the year. The Ritty Roundup, there's the CQWPX contest uh, at the beginning of the year, and then there's the granddaddy of all, the CQ Worldwide Ritty, which happens at the end of next month in September. I have some tips for those that might want to get started with RTTY. The first question is FSK or AFSK. Some transceivers uh, automatically enable FSK, and that is the, the uh, more popular mode or the more uh, technically sound mode. However, AFSK uh, can be used and you would use a sound card similar to the SignalLink USB. Incidentally, the SignalLink USB is on sale here at DX Engineering at a $25 off savings until the end of the month. This unit is usable for many digital modes, FT8, FT4, uh, slow scan TV, RTTY, and others. Now, if you choose to use AFSK, remember the acronym, and this is a borrowed acronym, LSMFT. And what that stands for in RIDI parlance is lower sideband means fine teletype. And the point being is no matter what band you're on, be it the lower bands 80 and 40 or the upper bands all the way up through 10 uh, meters, you want to use lower sideband for teletype. When you're using AFK, AFSK, please pay a particular attention to the ALC levels uh, on your audio as you're uh, doing AFSK. If you overdrive the signal, you're going to uh, produce an excessively wide signal that's going to splatter and annoy quite a few people. Now for some recommended software. Uh, again, when we're focusing strictly on ready, and the recommended software is MMTTY. It's freeware. It's very straightforward to configure and understand. Incidentally, the MMTTY engine is also integrated into some of the more sophisticated pro uh, programs, such as uh, contesting software N1MM Logger Plus and the Digital Suite FL Digi. Newer transceivers, for instance, like the IC7300, the IC7610, have built-in sound cards. They can produce the RTTY exchange directly on the screen, and you can use short pre-program exchanges that you can build right into the program. 
Uh, also, things like MMTTY allow you to build macros. And I would encourage you to have the macros ready so that if a rare DX comes in or a state that you need that's rare, you can hop right into a pileup faster and, and uh, work that rare DX. And this is one way I was fortunate in 2002 and I just uh, happened to have everything ready. I was able to work North Korea on RTTY. And that certainly is probably the rarest uh, one that I've ever worked and the one that I'm most proud of. Finally, if you're the least bit interested in RTTY, you can install the MMT software on your PC. You can use the sound card that's in the PC with a couple of cables between the PC and your transceiver. So you have minimal expense to, to try this. And uh, just remember that if you're going to use a PC sound card uh, to try out MMTTY for, uh, for pity's sake, be sure to turn off the Windows sign. There's nothing more disconcerting than in the middle of the ready tones to have, you've got mail coming out where it shouldn't be in, in voice on the bands. So with that, I'll say 73 for the day. Take care. Be well.